name is Ajay Rati, and I am the uh, CIO of the Mac Properties. The Mac Properties is into uh, uh, a business of uh, a luxury real estate. As a CIO, um, I look after the entire portfolio of uh, services which we offer. Uh, the Mac Properties is one of the company within the Damac Holding Group. Uh, majorly, our income comes from the Mac Properties. Uh, but besides this, we have uh, uh, foods and beverages, we have a leasing, property leasing, facility management. And one of the company we recently acquired was Roboto Kawali, which is a, a luxury uh, fashion uh, unit. Uh, and across this functions the entire IT, which in includes infrastructure, security, applications, digital, uh, mobility. Across all these companies, central IT is managed by me. It is two way. One is in, for the external customer facing, and one is our internal, uh, um, which is supporting all the business uh, uh, units within the company. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, reaching out to the customers, we use multiple technologies uh, uh, to reach out to the customers uh, to showcase our properties uh, right from the uh, pre inquiry stage till the sales of the properties, post sales and facility management and the community management. That's our, our, our entire bandwidth of uh, services we provide. Uh, for that, we use multiple technologies, uh, right from uh, Salesforce to Oracle to uh, any kind of uh, hybrid mobility. Uh, so all this has been used uh, to provide uh, value to the business. So what has happened is over a period of time, we have been uh, rebuilding on technologies in a in a way that we are able to use the latest technologies. So as far as our sales uh, platform is concerned, we use uh, Salesforce uh, not only for uh, uh, the CRM part, but also for the uh, property sales module. Uh, besides that, we have been moving to uh, Oracle Fusion from our on-premise Oracle EBS. Uh, we use for data, uh, Azure Data Lake, uh, to provide uh, real-time services real-time insights to the business. Uh, in terms of mobility, we, uh, we, have, uh, we have both uh, uh, hybrid as well as uh, native applications developed on that. Uh, besides this, there are a plethora of small uh, applications which we use for our project management, for our uh, various other, uh, other things like uh, facility management, leasing so there are small bit of applications which we use it and they are all integrated together to give a single view of customers across the organization i mean over a period of time uh, if you look at it covid or no covid we were always onto the uh, journey of making our applications making our things available to the uh, the business user anytime and anywhere uh, some of those technologies like collaboration tools was existing but senior management still wanted to uh, go around, uh, visit different places. Uh, but what has happened is um, COVID has helped them uh, understand that it is uh, a lot of deliveries can be done, a lot of uh, talks can be done without traveling uh, to the specific locations. And in COVID cases, we we had like in sale uh, property is is a, was a one big business because now people cannot see the houses. So we did develop a lot of uh, online um, sales portfolio in terms of the customers can take a complete journey into his house, into the, the places they want to uh, look, how the house will be looked at into 3D, architectures of the houses were available. The entire journey, we looked at it, whatever the steps were required in which a customer has to come to the, uh, the site in terms of either sales or handover or post sales activities. We actually automated them, we digitized them, uh, we gave them uh, the clear view of uh, what they would have expected if they would have reached to the site. So that helped us in terms of increasing our uh, handover. So that uh, increased our collections also. That also helped us in increasing our sales because people were able to, one of the good thing about UAE was that this was considered to be a very safe place. A lot of people want to invest, but they were not able to travel. So without traveling, they were able to get access to uh, the entire portfolio and that helped us in increasing our sales as well as collections. So the transformation journey is, is uh, all about uh, uh, making sure that uh, your organization 
uh, have two things. One is uh, they are able to reach to the customers, uh, go to market, what we call is, is, is faster. And the second one is our internal processes, which are, uh, which are normally many a time cumbersome and our response to the customer becomes a little slower. So we have done a lot of uh, things in terms of uh, automations. We had uh, wherever required, wherever multiple areas was required, we have gone with automation anywhere as an uh, as a automation platform. And wherever we could automate into the system, we have done it. We moved out from our uh, on-premise ERP to uh, on Cloud Fusion. So what we're trying to do is build a, a, a platform in a way that customers can reach us uh, uh, through multiple uh, channels. Customers' uh, response is increased uh, because uh, management also have a view on all the KPIs across the organization. So all that is where our digital transformation is moving uh, in terms of uh, our applications and stack ops. Any CRM uh, is, 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 is the most important uh, aspect uh, to reach out to the customers to make sure that uh, customer satisfaction is available. Uh, it's a Salesforce CRM uh, help uh, has been used not only for the CRM bit of it, we use it for collection, facility management, and the communities management in terms of reaching out to the communities, the people who have taken uh, uh, properties and, and they are living in our community in order to book amenities within that, in order to uh, uh, use any services within that. So in terms of uh, uh, the platform itself, uh, it has opened us a, a good communication channel between uh, the customers and our uh, user, uh, our departments who are providing services, whether it is in a handed over unit, whether it is uh, before the handover happens. Uh, so what is happening is a seamless connectivity to the customer is, is there between the company uh, representative and the customer. Hello, the Mac was our, our mobile app, which was developed uh, two years back. But we have rebranding it. We have made it as the Mac Living. We, we brought more and more people into that, and we are providing a lot of services to them now, in terms of booking their appointment, in terms of booking any amenities within uh, uh, within the uh, communities they are living it, in terms of making their payments, in terms of uh, uh, we have done um, loyalty program onto that itself, so the people who was part of that community can get better discounts. So over a period of time, our, our intention is to have our customer tied down to us right from the way the day he uh, decides to buy a property until the time he wants to buy another property to us. So that's where we, uh, this uh, Hello Damac, which is now Damac Living, is, is helping us to understand the requirements. So everything is there now. I mean, you can have your car number plates are there, so you, you get straight through uh, community without any kind of uh, barriers being open, it automatically opens. So we actually are expanding the portfolio onto the, uh, the Mac Living uh, so that customer is, is much better taken care of. If you look at uh, in a construction, we don't do a construction, we are a developer, but uh, BIM designs and all uh, are becoming a bit of a necessity here uh, because uh, most of the approvals across a community, if a community is a bigger community, has to go through a BIM approvals. But it's not only the BIM bit of it, it's the entire end-to-end -end project management. Uh, BIM is one bit of it, is, is help us uh, saving a lot of money because uh, right from a design review, which happens on the BIM, earlier it used to take a long bit of a time, now people are able to do online uh, onto the model itself. Uh, it took some time for the people to uh, onboard it, but after that, uh, it's, a, it's a journey wherein uh, each step of a uh, uh, project right from the design uh, to delivery has been uh, has been uh, digitized and people can uh, deliver things much faster. Uh, our projects can move faster. Our projects uh, are available. Uh, the project guys are able to see and visualize things better than what they were doing earlier. I mean, security is one of the most important thing and the most neglected thing in any organizations. And it has become much more uh, uh, a bigger problem nowadays in terms of as people are accessing things uh, across the internet. When people access things, uh, when they were accessing things within the company, uh, the boundaries were defined. Now there's no boundaries. Uh, the, uh, the application might be lying at many places. The, the way you used to build controls earlier because you had an 
uh, uh, security edge across your data centers were different. Now, uh, hybrid uh, infrastructure, uh, part of it lying on your premise, part of it lying in your, uh, uh, into the cloud, is creating a bigger challenge. Um, we had uh, built a portfolio of uh, security uh, matrices. Uh, we, uh, as, as when we went on, on to work from home, which we used to do a lot earlier also, uh, we looked at our uh, uh, cloud security. We did an uh, in-depth analysis of it. We continue doing our uh, vulnerability assessment across our uh, different portfolios, uh, different uh, ingress point into the organization. We look at end user behavior. Uh, uh, security awareness trainings have been provided through uh, different tools. We have no before one of the tools which provides um, awareness it evaluates individual users uh, and then provides them uh, awareness trainings, how you should be able to identify certain issues which you are having it. So overall, it was a mix of a technology and the people uh, and the processes which went together uh, to give a better security uh, framework for the Mac. Uh, it is becoming more and more important in nowadays uh, uh, as uh, Anything you do, and specifically for us, as we are a listed company on a stock exchange, uh, uh, we have a, a lot of regulatory uh, requirements. Looking at that, we have to develop at least uh, two or three uh, areas in which we have to work a little bit. One is our security, which is all the compliances. Uh, there are uh, requirements from the government here. Uh, so ISO 27000 and ISR, we have uh, information security regulations from the local government. Uh, we have to follow that. So uh, we did develop uh, controls across that. Similarly, in terms of our release management of our products, we have regulations uh, that we are also uh, following in. So all these things has been built into a, a framework, a governance framework, wherein we see to it that uh, uh, these areas are uh, particularly taken care of or documented and we are able to provide uh, uh, to the regulatory authority the right status of all our uh, compliances. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.